This is a grade six math practice test for T and ready. Question currently number five. Bananas cost 59 cents per pound. Create an equation that could be used to find the total cost of X pounds of banana. And they want total cost to be Y and pounds of bananas to be X. So I might make a note to myself over here what it even means. Like how did they define the variable? Do you have to do that? Of course not. And then I need to think about what that actually means. It means that if I buy one pound of bananas, I'm going to pay 59 cents. If I buy two pounds of bananas, that would be 59 plus 59. And then if I bought three pounds of bananas, that'd be 59 plus 59 plus 59. If I bought six pounds of bananas, that would be 59 plus 59 plus 59 plus 59 plus 59 plus 59. Man, that's super annoying. I just wish there was an operation that would allow us to do lots of addition in a simpler form. Oh, wait, there is. It's called multiplication. So if I had needed to know how much it would cost for 17 bananas, I would say 59 cents times 7. Or you can put the X here. Uh, I'm so high school, used to teaching high school that I forget about that. Um, but I would do times 7, or 17, I said, right? So if I wanted to find out how much 2,000 pounds of bananas is, I would do this. We can rewrite this because we don't know how many pounds of bananas we have. We can use a variable. And they identified the variable, so it's here. So instead of saying 0.59 times a number, we'll say 0.59 times x. And the way we write that is like this, 0.59x. Anytime you have lots of adding, it's probably multiplication. Also, there was a word in this that indicated that was probably multiplication too. If you see per something, and they already have it established that that's how it works, it probably means um, that you're doing some sort of multiplying. Anytime you have a make an equation question and you see per in it, it's probably going to be a multiply. Not always. It's not exclusive. It's just like a, a warning sign. The little flash flashers go off like the red lights. So what else do I have to do? Am I done, right? Nope. It asked me to create an equation. The whole purpose of an equation is that it has an equal sign in it. Otherwise, it's not an equation, it's just an expression. So I need to put an equal sign in there and now figure out what it's equal to. Well, if I have this price and I know I have to multiply it by the pounds of bananas, it will give me this big number and that's how much I'm going to have to pay. Oh, wait, that's total cost. So instead of putting total cost over here, I'll just use the variable for y. So the answer to number 5 is y equals 0.59x. Again, if they're asking you for an equation, make sure that you have an equal sign in it. Otherwise, it's not an equation. If you have lots of adding involved and to get to an answer, it's probably multiplying. Um, and make sure that whatever the large encapsulating variable, which in this case is total cost, like the one that it would all lead to, everything leads back to total cost. You set that by itself and equal to um, your number at the, or your uh, term here your variable term. And you should have this one right every time.